everyone. Thank you for joining us on the first episode of the year of the Slum Gods podcast. We are your hosts. I am Stone Swayze. I am Skibo. And Martinez. And today we're going to get into some uh, wonderful viral content. But first and foremost, how's everybody doing? How is the new year treating y'all? Oh, man, it's been it's been an excellent new year so far. I feel like it's been pretty uh pretty lit so far. So uh, okay, nah, it's been all right. Little drama, but nothing big. But um, you know, that's how you start a year with drama. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Um, yeah, no, I uh, I feel a little re- refreshed, reinvigorated to start this. Um, I'm I'm kind of going off that. Uh, it's 2024, so we gotta tap into our 2024. We gotta tap into our Mamba bag right now. R.I.P. Kobe. You know he will, he would have wanted us to step on the gas, so that's what we're about to do this year. Mm. And we we're gonna take off. We got we got this shit. But um, uh, I, I I know you guys have already heard about it, so let's just get into the meat and potatoes. Uh, <laughs> Cat Williams sets the fucking internet on fire. With, Shay Shay. <laughs> yeah, with a Shannon Sharp interview. Um, I would like to just get everybody's like first take on it, and then we're gonna go into some clips as to what he was talking about, and we'll react to them. Well, that get technically is not first take, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> well, our, I mean, say, cause our first take would have been just naturally <laughs> reacting to it. Well, I didn't watch okay. the interview. I've been watching. You haven't watched it. No, nah, I've been watching clips them? all week, different clips all I pretty much watched it. I've seen every important clip about it's uh, damn near it's damn near a fucking it's damn near a set. It is worth yeah, every yeah, every yeah, minute. Yeah, yeah. He read how many books as a kid? I don't believe that though. <laughs> yeah, no, a lot of, some of that shit seemed a little like, far. I, yeah, uh, I took some of it with a grain of salt, but yeah, I think that's one thing that people are understanding, like like it, okay, we get like if you think this person speaking facts, doesn't mean it's a hundred percent facts of everything he's yeah, saying. Wait, wait, he say, dude, he do like a uh, high, how fast you run? <laughs> yeah, no, he was he was saying a whole bunch of crazy. Yeah, he was, just I, he was saying a lot. It was a lot. Like, I'm not about to say <clears> throat> throat> like, bro, it's it's okay to take take somebody's word at something, but not the whole thing. You know what I mean? Because yeah. they don't know what the other person's thinking. They might miss a little bit of information here and there. It all depends. But so, on the other. Uh, yeah, but on the under comedians, I agree with him like eighty percent of it. Like the whole Ricky Smiley thing. Uh, oh yeah, I, I heard his side about it, and I kind of believe Ricky. Well, they both kind of telling the truth, so it's like he probably got- took something. Huh? Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. He probably took uh took it wrong or something. I don't really know. Like I wasn't there, so I can't say it. But how Ricky Smiley explained it, I kind of like. Oh, okay, it's it's believable. Um, the whole like you believe what he, you believe Ricky Smiley, or you believe what Kat no, no, said about that? No, situation. I believe in both of what they said. Like both of them sound kind of uh-huh. true. Like he went for what well, he said he wanted to be Money Mike position, like the role of Money Mike, but it went better for Cat. But he wanted that role. He went for that role. So it's like uh-huh. if you gonna audition, you audition for that role. So I understand. That. I came for this role, but got this role because uh-huh. this guy was better at this role than me. But at least I was still in a movie, right? Yeah. There was uh, like the two things that stood not stood out, I guess. The two things that were like my favorite part of the video was like, uh, or the interview, was the one part where he was discussing Bernie Mac and how they were trying to, uh, you know, shit on him for it and stuff like that. Yeah. And then he was like, he's like, because I watched the Steve Harvey interview too about like uh, the that tour and how it worked. And uh, Cat Williams was like, you think if Bernie Mac went first that he still wasn't going to be the funniest in there or went last? Yeah. You think it matters? Like, that should make me laugh because I'm like, it's true. Bernie Mac was, oh, he was hilarious. Funnier. Yeah, I was like, he's way funnier than Cedric yeah, than boy. Steve. No, so, speaking of that, though, uh, speaking, of, uh, speaking of Bernie Mac, though, so it's a um, he's trending right now, too, about a, um, a video he did. Uh, he stole somebody's stuff, which Bernie he did. did? But he, yeah, but he actually paid for it. Mm. So... Yeah, I'm, yeah, not, I'm not sure that rumor is true, but from what I heard, I heard about this years ago. Like, because someone trying, you know, you start bringing up old stuff, old clips of people. They say he yeah. stole this thing from a kid, but the kid actually um, uh, sold, sold it. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so 
Bernie Mac legit. Don't dog Bernie Mac, man. Shot time in the house, man. Uh, uh, Bernie Mac. I mean, this video that we're discussing has mm -hmm. 31 million views. It's been four days. Yeah, it's been, it's been, it's been, it's been million, blowing up. That's insane. And um, that, that video is two hours and 45 minutes long? Yeah, it's long. Yeah. I like so that. that's going to bring me to another topic later. I just want to finish the, the other thing that stood out to me. Uh, it was the Bernie, the, the Bernie Mac one. And then, um, damn, I forgot what I was uh, I forgot what the other one was. Uh, he was talking about said, uh, Steve, uh, Dave Kevin. Chappelle. Kevin Hart, yeah, he uh, uh, just on a lot of things. Ricky Smiley, yeah, yeah. I, I just, old. I couldn't, old. I couldn't really like, I couldn't really get on board with like the whole Illuminati talk when he was talking about like ludicrous and shit. <sighs> yeah, and I just like it just sounded so outrageous that like it kind of, I don't know. It's like it was it very gave me, hard it gave me vibes. Kanye vibes. It gave me Kanye vibes for sure. Yeah, <laughs> a rant. He's a rant. You a drunken tell, rant. You can tell there's something off about Cat Williams. I don't care what anyone oh. says. I don't oh. care what anyone says. There's something off about him in general. <laughs> um, <clears throat> he tries to deflect a lot, but there's something off about him. And not only that, um, is that half of what he's saying, uh, or a, a lot of what he's saying, could be the truth, but there's little bits and pieces I think they uh that don't make sense in his stories that were like okay I don't know I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's more to it type thing you know what I mean I, I can't believe everything for face value yeah some of it is just uh oh yeah that's all because you only get one side well, I mean of it. you don't get I mean, the other ice side cube, of it. no I mean ice cube actually like verified some stuff where he was saying that like well, no, was I, yeah the ice cube stuff that was the other thing thank you that was actually the other thing that I liked well how he was talking about because I did see a lot of interviews from like Friday actors like getting mad about the pay mm -hmm. that Ice Cube was giving them, so they saying they didn't get paid much. So I kind of like the fact that Cal Williams stuck his neck out and was like, you know, Q was out there funding his own shit, his own mm -hmm. individual, you know, uh, his own movie, independent movie. Yeah. So I, well, how are they gonna shit on shit on him for how much they pay him when literally he's making paying for this out of pocket and. Kind of putting people on that wouldn't have got the attention otherwise, and then made a mo like multi million dollar. He made movie. all them stars. He made yeah. all them. Everybody that was in his movie became a star, mm -hmm. like Michael Blacks and um Mike at uh, Mike Epps, you know Terry Crews, like a lot of people. Though, but when he came at Michael Blackson, I was kind of, I was like, I felt like it was just so like on the nose. Like I felt I felt bad because like I like Michael Blackson, but like it's also in that What did he say game. about it's him? Like, he was just saying that like you get a real African doing a fake African accent and people don't boo him enough to make him good because they're just laughing at everything he does <laughs> because he's putting on a character basically. And I, 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 get that I felt too. bad because like like this is all he knows and he's just he's just learning but i mean he's also been in the game for years oh, it's kind of like yeah, no, he ain't learning. learning anything that's just who he, he is learn. i it's do under, i do get that though well i get that from him because he's just but, me like when he tell a joke he just throw the axe the fake ass um i, I mean that's where. who he is though like if you hmm. think about it who's another person that comes to mind when they do that type of shit? the one that like stands out buddy well um, uh, what the fuck is uh Fucking buddy that does toe bather. What's oh, up? yeah, yeah. What's um, what the fuck is his Larry name? the Cable Guy. Larry the Cable Guy. Okay. Yeah. That's He's All literally right. been doing that same exact thing for years. He don't even okay. have a real country. I don't, I don't, I don't pay but attention. No, Larry the nobody cable thought guy. Labor the Cable Guy, the cable guy was good, though. Mm. But like, what I'm saying is he's keep, he keeps up that facade. You know what I mean? That's true. It, no matter he's, what, in all aspects of his thing, that's just who he is. He's embraced it. That's what makes him the most money. So why wouldn't Black Michael Blackson do the same? But he, I mean, it's not just him too. What's that dude? So that, um, Mexican, that Mexican dude, the big one, chubby or something. Fluffy, fluffy guy. Fluffy, like I chubby, fluffy. Yeah, yeah, he do. He does the same thing too. Though. He's so trash. Oh my god, he's so terrible. You still love him, bro? Stop. Hell no. That was your favorite person. No. <laughs> Jeff Dunham. No. You used to love Jeff Dunham no. too. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Dunham's all right. 
No, Jeff Dunham's terrible too. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Um, you know, you know what this doing though is bringing light to comedy though. Yeah, like yeah, um, the comedy world. Like no one really pay attention to the comedy world like that. And the yeah, stigma, no, it's yeah. a real stigma to it too. You know, like you got to sell your soul to be <clears throat> Kevin Hart and like Mike Epps and the Matt right now. Like the whole you got to wear a dress thing. Yeah, that that was that was a really um, mm. like valid point as far as like getting black comedians to dress in drag like that's like such a thing that like just goes on to like oh just do it and then because no, they don't, do it um they i don't really here. wait wait i'm sorry i don't think it's just a black thing i think white actors have to do it too that's though. what that's what i was kind of confused on is like why why is it so important is because uh you know us as black people have so much pride that we want to be considered anything other than you know like straight men because I feel like white actors do the same amount of things. Robert Williams dressed up as a woman before. Fucking Keanu Reeves has dressed up as a woman before. Mm-hmm. Like you, you would probably find it, it's maybe Jim it's Carrey. just a comedy. Jim I, mean, I mean, but he said he said that he was like getting blackballed because he or because he wasn't doing any of that shit because he wasn't agreeing to it because he wasn't every every script that they brought to him with that in it. He's like, I don't want to do that. So therefore. He never got all any of the movie roles that were offered to him because they would then offer it to Kevin Hart or okay. to so, Brandon T. Jackson. Then, my rebuttal, to, pay, to play devil's advocate then, right? Say if we work at any of our jobs and a motherfucker, you keep asking the person for, for a favor, like, hey, can you do this? And every time they're denying you, like, no, man, I don't want to do that shit. I don't want to do that shit. Like, okay. And then somebody else does it. Like, yo, you want, you know, you want this OT? You want this OT? And then they're like, they're like, yeah, I'll take it every time, or we can we keep you for a few extra hours. Like, yeah, why would he not? Why would all of a sudden he think he deserves? Like, why wouldn't people come back for other roles? Like, damn, like I know you didn't want to do this role, you still took it for me here. Do you think you'd be interested? In that type of shit. You know what I mean? I guess. I guess he just goes along the lines <laughs> of. I'm not saying he has to dress up as a woman, but you also have to think about it from the other side, where like, if you ask a person for something, a favor. They did some shit for you that you didn't want to do at all. Wouldn't you come back to that person like, "Hey, you looked out like, you know, not, here's this not, bro. not if it's killing my pride." Yeah, I think that's what it. I think that's what it was. Is where he's like, "How much of your integrity are you willing to give up for those roles?" Like, basically, all all work is not good work. Good work. All money, and, good money. Yeah, and and, and that's a, along the principles that he was trying to follow, but Hollywood doesn't work that way, unfortunately. You got to do the Holly weird stuff if you want the big bucks, which is kind of crazy, which is why I think Chappelle kind of did that little whole Africa thing where he got the fuck out of Dodge for a few years and then came back like a fucking messiah or something. Was able to get his Netflix deal, not have to worry about dressing in a dress because they were coming for him, basically. Well, he I did. Well, I don't know about that. It's a clip that came out the other day of Dave Chappelle dressed like a woman. So <laughs> we got to pull that up. Uh, we got to pull that, that up. Check the book. Check the book. Yeah, because he was he's very. I, just, I saw it. I saw it today. I I saw it today. But it, it was. Which, it was I, don't, kind of, I don't know why he's like tripping about it when he's literally dressed up as a crackhead who sucks dick for crack. He's okay with that, but but, but he, that, he but won't. He won't, feel like, he won't dress like, up in a dress. I feel like I feel like that's his choice, though. He chose to do that, you know. So he, didn't to do, do he, he didn't want to do that skit. But what makes oh, him, what makes him want to what makes him want to do that skit and then not want to do? You get what I'm saying, like because yeah. what? Because one of the ones is you, a little bit you more see, homosexual. You see his new special? And hey, do y'all watch his new special? I, I saw watch. I saw it a little bit. No, just mention it. Like okay, I get I get people don't agree with the the fucking LGBTQ whatever the fuck they I don't know mm-hmm. the official name you know what I'm saying yeah okay I I get people are a little soft on the, the transgender thing some people are a little too touchy for it but can we stop acting like Dave Chappelle is just telling jokes at this point he's clearly meaning to disrespect like people shouldn't find everything he says funny but that's the point though that's kind of that's like the, the one, point, though. I feel like he does it on purpose just to get the to buzz, disrespect you know? people. He oh, disrespects yeah. people. 
So why would anyone think it's a joke or why? No, I, why I expect my can be uh, my comment to disrespect people. You're a comedian. This is what you do. I want you to do that. What can yeah, but what I, sometimes, what sometimes, say, I want him to do that? There are people on the internet talking about oh, it's just joke. It's just comedy. Like why you guys take it like bro? This man's not telling comedy. This is just like straight up like insulting to a certain group of people. Yeah, I mean, I mean yeah, you, it's not. It's like it's not, But the thing is, it's not funny. Like if it was if it was like if it was funny and insulting somebody then it, then it'd be a different situation. But it's sometimes <coughs> it's just not funny. It's just like he just spins the block to say his thoughts because it's on his mind and not really no setup, no clever put together, no none of that. Like it's just I fucking hate trans well, people well, like, and they like, hate me. <laughs> like just like he has a vendetta. We get it. Oh, uh, like, like sometimes it's just not funny. One I'm of the jokes. Like, okay, one, okay, Chappelle, I've seen you do funny shit before. I know you're better than this. One of the That's jokes uh, that uh, Martinez can uh, vouch on this, he, he discusses like how he was supposed to beat like Jim Carrey or something. Oh, uh. and and Jim Carrey was in the in this role. He was. You know how actors uh, put themselves in that role, like uh, oh, um, I know what the fuck you're talking about. He's uh, they, were they like the ass, met the actor or something? when yeah. he was yeah when he was Andy Kaufman yeah, yeah. so he was talking okay. about that shit where he was like really trying to get in that role as Andy, but he really wanted him to be Jim Carrey and that he felt like it was a down like a a disappointment, disappointment. because he wanted to be the real Jim Carrey, not the person mm-hmm. he's playing, and he said that's how he feels about trans people, and I'm like. Okay. I'm like, that's dying, the, like really? That's the same it came thing out of nowhere. Was, it came out of nowhere too. <laughs> and then people are laughing in the crowd. I'm like, that really wasn't even funny. It I don't came out it. of nowhere. I'm like, really? the joke. It just it seemed a little more hateful at times. Mm. It's not really joking. It was his I'm first. Doing. It was his first joke too. That's the sad part. <laughs> yeah, oh I just God, really. It was the first yeah. joke. I, I don't think he did that when I went to go see him live. I don't think he. Said I that. You, you should watch the Netflix um, show. Just watch yeah, it. I, I'm gonna have to watch that because because um, he changed it up a lot. Honestly, honestly, I feel like Cat Williams, that motherfucker, went there and had a whole set written or something. He had to have had a whole set like in the no, in the tuck. Nah, I because, think it was the like, alcohol. It was the alcohol. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't know, man. This whole cat thing. It was, I enjoyed it though. I mean, enjoying this whole. Week. I, I enjoyed the whole the whole thing, but there was like just some some things at times that seemed a little more hateful than it actually was like interesting. But yeah, um, no. I think Cat, I think Kevin Hart really needed to respond though. Well, he, I, he, I he think he did. Up. He's already way more popular than than. No, I think but he did. Like, I think he's he's doing, already. This dude, hey, keep this on my response. it's like it a like, rap battle, man. This dude keep on coming back at you, man. You got to do something. I mean, he said that they haven't been in the same building, or like every time that he pulls up, Kevin, oh, uh, Kevin Hartley. It, one part that pissed me off when he's talking about uh, Cat Williams stood up. He's like, and I swear, if I ever see Cedric or he's in front of me, oh, bust his damn belly. Yeah, I'm like, boy, didn't you get beat up by a high schooler? <laughs> Speaking of which, he said that he never did a hard drug in his life in that interview. I'm like, nigga, you was fucked up when you was with that kid. I don't know if he was drunk. You look like he was high on some other shit. You look crazy as hell in that video because it definitely got, it got scoured up and came back. Like this is a classic video. <laughs> I didn't even watch it again because I'm like, I know this nigga was fucked up off some crazy shit. He was mm-hmm. not. He was not drunk. He was not high off of weed. His ass was fucked up off some crazy shit. Yeah, yeah. that man oh, don't lie. Very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Robin's gonna do the news, and uh, we got some great guests coming in. <laughs> hey, what are you guys laughing at so much? I think I fared up too much, jerk. All right, let's. Uh, Let's play our new video, Baba Boobie's Banana. Baba Robin, you saw the tape. What do you think of it? Well, gotcha, bitch. Would... Hey, Robin. What's the matter with you? You have a cold? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I do. Really? That's probably a chest cold. <laughs> I'm glad that cut off. That shit was so cringy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, shouts out to Dave Chappelle for not wanting to dress like a woman. No wonder why he don't want to do it again. Yeah, yeah, ugly one. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, but... Man, I hope a lot come out of this, though. I hope was that Larry King? Start working. 
That's who it was supposed to be. It's a skit for them, but that oh, wasn't that okay, actually. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, it was okay. a skit. But I hope like a lot of comedians start stepping up. Like, well, not even that's, that was going to be my next question. Like, not even just comedians. Like, it's clear that people want to see behind the curtain, you know, for people that have been blackballed, especially like Cat Williams or mm-hmm. in general, just see pulling the curtain behind how the industry actually works, not just the comedy industry, uh, comedic industry. Is he really? Is he really? Just the entertainment like, industry in general. What's the last role <laughs> yeah, he had? the huh? last role Cat, um, Cat Williams had? The last thing I saw him in was uh, Atlanta, and he, yeah, he won a he he an Emmy for that. He got an Emmy for that. Emmy. He was fucking excellent in that show. He was amazing. I love that. Episode. And he was only in there for one episode. He won an Emmy for that. Yeah, he got, he got a guest. He got, a, he got it's, it's called it's called like guest role Emmy. Like if yeah, yeah, role. best supporting okay. actor or whatever. Um, um, so yeah, do you guys think this is gonna bring out more or? Um, this thing I got a yeah. best supporting actor or best guest actor on a show for one episode. Yeah, that's what, is that's crazy. What he deserves is this... it. I love that episode. Yeah, no, that, no, he acted his ass off in that. And that's something like when he's talking about like the way he, uh, the way he learned how to act and the way he learned his vocabulary and stuff like that. He got how range. He, how yeah, how he practiced. I go, I go to, I think about like when. Um, Dave Chappelle was in what was that one movie with Bradley Cooper? Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. I know um, the depressing ass movie. Was he was he in that? Yeah, he yeah. was in that. Uh, I, I, know, I didn't see it. Yeah, yeah. Stars Born. I didn't know he was in there. He was in there. I think yeah. he I think he got nominated for uh, best supporting actor too. Wow. Um, but yeah, it go, it makes <sighs> me think about that, and I'm like. You know, some of the goats of comedy can actually act their ass off. So yeah, I want to see. Chance. But like, hey. I want to. I want to see Monique come out. See if Monique can do an interview. She seems like oh. somebody that'll give a lot of. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Hey, can I say something about Steve Harvey? Though what he said about Steve Harvey with the, <laughs> <laughs> I was dying. Uh, he said, "Do you think it's right true? Uh, he has a wig uh, on." Oh, uh, I think it's true. For real, and ain't, ain't nobody heard that. Like that, man. I've been watching oh. Steve Harvey show. They got everything. Really <laughs> ain't nobody lying is that fresh. Ain't nobody here that uh, fresh. Uh, hell no. My boy made a lot of man piece on. And that, my boy made a lot he, of. He made a lot of P Diddy jokes too, which is kind oh, of. Oh yeah, crazy. yeah, no, yeah, no. He was going at P Diddy, T D Jakes. Edison to prove guilty. <laughs> prove it guilty with Diddy. <laughs> oh, are you defending Diddy? No, I'm not, I'm not defending. I say innocent into proving guilty. Nigga, <laughs> what? The Harvey you said, I, I'm a he Diddy settled, he right settled with he, <laughs> he settled with Cassie quick as hell. What are you talking he did, about? He did that quick, but we ain't talking about that's Diddy. Not, that's, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's not that's innocent until proven guilty. That's, 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 that's just that's, money. That's, that's, that Harvey Weinstein joke was a little weird too, or not joke uh, story that he said. Hey, he said, uh, I, like, I didn't. Lord, what's I, going on? But I'm gonna go back right quick too. You said uh, something about Ludacris and Illuminati. I didn't. I didn't get that clip. So he said that <clears throat> him and some him and another person got invited to an Illuminati get together, but the terms were they had to cut off all their hair, and they would. They would have to. They would get uh, an ugly, light-skinned wife, and they would be paid two hundred million over the course of ten movies, twenty million a movie, or some shit like that. Did he get that? I mean, I remember. Him and he's like, he's like, one of those people was Cat Williams. The other person was Ludacris. And who? Guess who that happened to? <laughs> and then you remember Luda ended up cutting his hair. He never. He, he had the braids. He got rid of that shit. And he started doing Luda, Luda basically responded in a freestyle. And Anybody got that freestyle? Said, let me let me look it up because I'm interested. I never I didn't get to see the freestyle. Yeah, I ain't get to. Uh, I ain't I get to it, it was. But, uh, he was saying that he was basically doing it for likes and clicks, which I don't know. I feel like I mean some of the shit, back, some of the point, shit some of the shit is definitely told out of spite. There's no way that he's just doing this out of the kindness of his heart because no, he wants to tell the truth. No, it's like, definitely spiteful. Like, That's why there's, I- there's a lot of venom in some of the shit that you're saying right now <clears throat> that, like, 
I don't know if it's coming from a place of like you actually want it to be great for the platform or you just want to start some toxic ass drama. Uh, uh, you you've been out of the because you've been out of the loop for a minute. But uh, it is. Uh, I mean, ludicrous. Let's say when he cut his hair, that's a long. That's going way back. Uh, I know, but look, that's what he said that he got the Illuminati deal. Okay, that's it. Whatever's heavy on my heart is always on my mind. Like Snoop's cannabis shredder, I'm always on my grind. They throwing shade because niggas could never take my shine. I bring my watch collection on my jet. Let me take my time. Like fine wine, I'm aging like Benjamin. Top five, I'm worth mentioning. Bring me rappers, I'm lynching them. See the pendulum swing, Jesus with diamond thorns. Ludacris, swaddled in Gucci linens when I was born. Never been Illuminati, only a Illuminati. And I only left with bitches when coming from any party. Now I'm married with kids, the evolution of life. Never been a clout chaser, never say shit for likes. R.I.P. John Singleton. You never have to flex when you earn every one of your Fast and Furious checks. Afro with the sideburns. Yeah, that's my signature. Addictions on the rise. Comedians, check your temperature. I think it was fire. I fuck with it. Ah, I you, only, with you only it. fuck with it because it was on a Drake beat, boy. Stop. I mean, too, but I, like, that's I like, not a Drake cool beat. A Drake beat. That was a Kanye West beat. Yeah, it is, it is a, it's a Kanye oh, West beat. <laughs> it is a Kanye beat. For real? <laughs> it is a Kanye beat. Yeah. But I, I'm talking about the beat was nice, but uh, no, I just think it's nice to hear Luda spit. It's always, mm. I think Luda's always underrated. Uh, yeah, well, he Luda definitely Luda. underrated. But I don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I don't see what's the point. Yeah, that's why. No, I'm like, Luda Luda said, when Cat was t- saying it, I'm like, this shit sounds so dumb. I mean, bro. name, other than the Fast and Furious movie, name <laughs> a Ludacris movie that's hot. Um, damn, I can't even. Well, he was in Hustle and Flow, but he was like, yeah, that, that, that wasn't his movie. He was at the yeah, end of the movie getting his ass. What movie has it? Hold on, I gotta look this up now. Because he was, like, in, he was, I mean, he was, he was never a movie, he was never a he was in star, Crash, though. He, the best movie I've I seen him without, like, um, Fast and the Furious is Crash, and he was fucking excellent in that movie. Yeah, he was great it in was, that movie, he was great. Um, but he didn't have his haircut. <laughs> I think yeah, the rest of the hair worth mentioning. Mm. Do you have an afro? <laughs> he had an afro still. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, no. Nothing, right? I mean, there's other ones like uh, Max Payne, but like, Buffers don't remember that. Movie like <laughs> that. Max Payne was horrible. Yeah. Not talking about that. <laughs> uh, uh, New Year's Eve. No one cares about that movie. No. Oh. <laughs> uh, of course, Hustle and Flow's on there. But, but nobody's going to be like, oh, I want to go see the Ludacris, the new Ludacris exactly. movie. Ludacris yeah, is yeah. The, nobody gives a fuck about Ludacris. Yeah, no one's going to do that. Uh, Dashing yeah. Through the Snow is the new one that he has. Like, Christmas movie. <laughs> I, I saw that, too. I thought about watching it, <laughs> oh, too. Oh, for real? I thought no, like about he, watching it. Like he saw it on the... Oh, like, okay. I saw, I saw it. Like, I thought about watching it. <laughs> But nah, I don't, I don't believe that. Little Chris ain't a movie star. He just had Fast and the Furious movies. That's it. No, no. <laughs> he also said something too though about marrying every comedian dating a light skinned girl or a white girl. Then yeah, I saw the said- pictures. Then I saw the pictures of everybody's wife and like, <laughs> damn, he right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but that was, I don't, I don't get I don't know what's going on, but it's it was it was entertaining though. I could say that. I yeah. agree. I, like I said, I hope more people come out and uh, more interviews like that happen. People want to hear the truth or at least other people's truths. Uh, yeah. Man. And shout out to my boys. Can we give a round of applause hey, for Shannon Sharp? Yeah. yeah for real. Give a round of applause yeah. for yeah. Sharp. He's doing this thing out here. You see what happened? You see what happened when you leave the white man? <laughs> yeah, I mean. You see what happened? Make your own money. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I I have no doubt in my mind that he's probably gonna surpass Joe this year, maybe mm-hmm. if if he if he keeps on putting out good content like this or <sighs> has great guests on. Because I mean, it's funny thing he had all the money. He had Ricky Smiley right? and them all in there too already. Yeah, so. it's like Shannon's not really funny, but he gels well with his his. I uh, think he's pretty funny. He's, he's, he's at times but, when, he, uh, when he tries to make his jokes, they kind of they kind of <laughs> flat. But like his reactions to stuff and yeah, his reactions and, yeah, and, react and, and like the way he kind of kind of tries to uh, he doesn't really 
shit on his guest or doesn't let his guest shit on other people or he tries to like uh, he definitely did and... just let Chad Williams <laughs> shit all over but he, uh, but he, he tries to, to he tries to hear he tried why to he, he tries to fan some people yeah, yeah I mean and like there's only so much he can do without like that was know, another like, nigga that fuck it he's niggas talking about phase on that boy was treating the fuck oh. I mean, <laughs> hey, do anybody <laughs> like him though? That's just illiterate. I'm like, damn. No, do anybody like Faison though? Earthquake. Oh yeah, he did say earthquake. He's yeah, about earthquake. Yeah, earthquake. Yeah, but do anybody like Faison though? I don't like his interviews. No, he's dude, always he's always, he's always, he's a weirdo, though. He's always cocky yeah. for no reason. Mm. I don't. Faison is like not even funny. Like I He's don't not. understand like where where Well he was funny in the Friday movies. That's 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 the only Man, way some of funny. the mo- some of the movies he in it, I, I, I enjoy it, but like as a comedian, I don't think he that funny. Like he was in what um was that couples retreat or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then he was also <laughs> like um uh, Bad Santa. But, but I liked hearing the behind the scenes stuff though, like the whole mm-hmm. stuff about the set of Friday and Friday after next and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Like that really was like interesting to me because I haven't really seen those movies. Like Friday, you haven't seen the Friday. I saw. I just seen Friday. Yeah, oh, yeah. I haven't Friday? seen Friday after next. I haven't seen next Friday. Or you don't Friday have the love for Mike Epps like I do. That dude was hilarious in next Friday. But Mike yeah. Epps, I. Yeah, yeah. He, and see, like, no. yeah. yeah. Well, he didn't say nothing about Mike Epps, though. I yeah, appreciate. no, he didn't. He didn't say <laughs> nothing about Mike Epps. He definitely <laughs> destroyed oh, Chris Tucker. Huh? He definitely destroyed Chris Tucker. What he, he said about Chris it, Tucker? He said, well, he talked about how he finally went on to the island. <laughs> He's like, this is before he went on Jeff Epstein's island, by the way. <laughs> like, yeah. Something like that. I, yeah. I actually watched the interview <clears throat> twice just because I wanted to be caught up on everything. Mm-hmm. Well, I just, like, listened to it. And he was like, he was like, he was talking about how uh, Michael used to call him Christmas. <laughs> you, ever, you ever, you ever had a man? Call I saw you that. One. I saw you that. Ever, one. Have, ever had a man give you a nickname like that? Yeah. Was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he wished he was President Michael Jackson. He wished. <laughs> But he's saying that after that, he just started acting weird because he didn't want to be the front person for marijuana and stuff. Like, Cat Williams is known for smoking weed. Snoop is known for smoking weed. Willie Nelson is smoke, known for smoking weed. Chris Tucker is in the church. He's, uh, you know, he's friends with Michael Jackson. And Michael Jackson's a little and, weird too. Wait, come on. And they said that, they said that he was, they were trying to cancel him when he was talking about all the Michael Jackson shit. When he was talking about all the R. Kelly shit. When he was talking about all the Harvey Weinstein shit. And they didn't want no nothing to do with him when he was talking about that. Now, once it all comes to light, he's like, bro, I was talking about this shit, and you guys were shitting on me because you said that I was shitting on other black people. When in reality, these motherfuckers were just weird, and I was just letting you know. Yeah, which he has a perfect point there because I'm sure a lot of people still don't want to believe that R. Kelly and Michael Jackson are weirdos, but they no. are. Unfortunately, R. Kelly is no, that's bad. And don't get us canceled. Don't get us canceled. We're not even out of the first week of twenty twenty four. R. Kelly, R. Kelly is not guilty. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He guilty as hell. He guilty as hell. He, he where he belongs. Side. He where he belongs, okay. <laughs> oh, man. That man still got good music though, y'all. So Yeah, I, I always get so conflicted when the remix to ignition comes on. It's like I'm smoking I'm a, a cigarette now while I'm listening to him. Like I'm not supposed uh, to be doing this now, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> terrible, terrible, <clears throat> terrible. Oh, but hey, you said he was on the list, Chris Tucker. Yeah, Did you say he was on the list. Yeah. Um, did that list come out yet? Yeah, they just big came out. They released uh, the documents. Um, do we want to go over that? Just a quick look. Oh, uh, that's what she was on the list. I don't need to know all the details of it. I mean, yeah, they, it's just people that he has business associations with. I don't know. Like, when they said Trump wasn't on the list, everybody like, damn, <laughs> <clears throat> that shit fake, boy. <laughs> They definitely removed his name from there because you know he, he loved him some Epstein. Oh, <laughs> uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. 
That's, I believe that. <laughs> well, hold on. Um, George Lucas, who's the, the guy for Star Wars. Yeah. Director, creator. Okay. <clears throat> um, of course, Chris Tucker, Bruce Willis, Cameron Diaz, Chris. Oh, I just said Chris Tucker again. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> These weird ass people. I say Bill Gates. Rich people, huh? Yeah. It's really it for like the people you think I know. Yeah, like well known people most of us. <clears throat> hey Skibo, I gotta ask you, bro. How's the yeah, how's the New good. Year's resolution going so far with yeah. Uh, uh, it's going okay. It's only like six days into the year, but yeah, I haven't been eating out as much, which is yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, good, good, good. Which is always nice. Uh, I haven't been able to make it to the gym though. Hopefully, here in a, a few days, I'm gonna. I, I mean, I got one right here. It's just I work, work so many hours. Yeah, I was on a break. I was on a, a trip yesterday, so I was gone all day yesterday too. Okay, for sure, for sure. I'm trying to stay in the gym myself, but you yeah. know. I feel like I'm a big boy, so I gotta I gotta refill, and I end up oh, refilling too much. Yeah, and I'm not yeah. going nowhere, so I gotta be more mindful of my eating. I'm trying to do one one meal a day, but that shit is so hard. So I, I do I, that. I do that sometimes. That shit is yeah. hard as fuck, but I cannot. Yeah, but do you can this. lose weight though. You can lose weight. I know. I, I've been fasting, but I, I one meal a day is just like. Basically <clears throat> impossible for me. I don't. I don't know. I eat one big ass meal, and then like, you like I, snack. Yeah, I probably snack like a little bit, like eat an apple or something. Or, okay. So, um, so let's get into our last video for the day. I know. You, I know you see the kings out there working, boy. I know you see oh. the kings out there working, boy. Trash. Put some respect on their name, boy. Didn't Darren Fox only have eleven points today? Yeah. No. 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 Don't 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 speak about that. <laughs> no, that's my boy. Don't, don't, don't disrespect you my boy. The, you said the Kings. Yes, they got thirty Yo. piece. I know they got thirty piece, but that's what, I already told you to watch out for the Pellies. I already told you that <laughs> the Pellies are trash. No, mm. they're not, boy. They got CJ. That boy is shooter, why are you saying like that? Why are you saying like that? <laughs> CJ, that's my boy. That boy just dropped a thirty piece. You said a, you said the Pelicans. Yes. The why the why the hell did uh, Zion not play today? And they hey, still no, lost. Like we, we, I mean, they he, still he won. played nineteen. They still he played. Piece, I mean, they thirty pieced without Zion. I don't care, man. Zion's the post <clears throat> of this team, and he ain't playing again. That are right, so gonna make discredit him. all the Pelicans for yes, Zion. They can't go nowhere without him. They can't go nowhere without him. It is thirty piece the Kings. It's just they the fucked, Kings. They fucked, they fucked up the Lakers. Kings ain't going nowhere. Kings ain't to stop <laughs> the top team to beat. <laughs> do that to Denver. If you do that to Denver, then I'll be like, all right, cool. But who cares about the, King, the Kings? The Kings are a good ass team right now. What are you oh, talking so, about? So is New York, but no one expect them to win. Let, let's uh let's look I, at this video that's been uh, taking the internet by storm. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> let's get right into it. If I'm in a better place in my life, I'm not doing drugs. I'm not, you know, I'm not out there committing crimes now. You know, and, and I feel like I should be given a shot. I appreciate that, but I think it's time that you get a taste of something else because I just can't with that history. In accordance with the laws of the state of Nevada, this court. No. Hey. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I see this is Swayze's first time seeing this. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right? That shit had me going. No, no, fuck that bitch. That shit Look, funny as hell. That's the first time I heard it in sound, though. Oh, that was shit. funny. You just saw a fucking. Oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> he died, man. He just died, man. He got hot. Her, and her ass looked up confused as hell. Uh, he said, I'm not on drugs no more. <laughs> His not ass did a raiding spear, boy. His ass really jumped across the courtroom. <laughs> for real. He just made it worse for himself. For real. Oh, no. I think uh, they said something about 13 extra charges. Um, 
apparently got a gash on his face that needed 25 stitches. Damn. I, I noticed they were beating the shit out of him when, when he was like down there too. Of course. <laughs> um, Judge got a couple of licks in. <laughs> apparently he slammed her head against the wall. Ooh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, 13 new 13 new charges for him. Man, he gonna That's be in life. jail for a while. That's life. He yeah. gonna be in jail. Um, ain't no life, but he's gonna be in jail for a while. Attacking a uh, attacking a fucking judge. Yeah, 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 he ain't yeah. killer. He just want to be the ass. <laughs> he slammed her head against the wall in a in a courtroom. And she old as hell. That's what I'm That's saying. Bro. Your ass is gone, bro. Nah, he he gone. He 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 will be. He'll nah. come back when he like sixty. He got like Maybe. he get like fifteen years, ten to fifteen years. Hell no. I'm gonna get ten to fifteen years. No, they gonna make an example of that nigga. Don't ten ever, to fifteen years is an example. No, no, it's not. It is. That's <sighs> ten years of your life. Where 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 where'd that happen at? Was Nevada. that in the south? Nevada. Okay, okay, that's out west, that's southwest, maybe. How maybe. much you done? I mean, they, they always have some crazy shit going on in Nevada, though. So it's it's always some crazy shit. And let me guess, that was in uh, Clark County. <laughs> it's in Florida. Uh, I, I, I guarantee that's Florida. <laughs> so it was in Clark Las, County. It's Las Vegas. So I don't know. Yeah, it's Clark oh, County, boy. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I'm too good. Uh, Clark County. I'm too mm-hmm. good. <laughs> crazy people live oh. in Vegas, too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, no, nah, I think he get like 10 to 15. He ain't kill nobody. He get an extra 10 at least. Yeah, he going to get 10 to 15. The, the charges, which are kind of fucking crazy, to be honest here. Well, what's the charges? All, all, because, all because he tried to be fucking, tried to be cool. What what, the, what did he expect to get the fuck out of that? We, we going to uh, beat uh, the shit out of her and get a lighter <laughs> sentence? He Coercion with force. Coercion with force. Intimidation of a public uh, officer. Extortion and multiple counts of battery on a protected person. Extortion? Damn. Really? Yeah, extortion, too. It's like they just throwing charges at him just to throw it. Exactly. Throw away the key. <laughs> all <laughs> that happened terrible. within 30 seconds. You got all these charges. <laughs> Talking about he was the reason why he did it, he was having a bad day. His big yeah, ass, his big thing. ass jumping and attacking a little ass. He, got right hops, lady. You he jumped real high. You know oh, how yeah, he bench. jumped, yeah, yeah. You know, that fucking bench is high. Yeah, y'all be the court. Jump. You know how benches be high as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey bro left all over the <laughs> <laughs> Man, he jumped. <laughs> Hell no. I wish I, I wish we could get an instant replay of that jump really like see that jump, like the actual like jump when he got to her. Yeah, if it was a side angle would have been nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the front shows uh I need better how truly impressive it was. Yeah, yeah. No, we we need better coverage in there. Come on now. <laughs> a, a lot a lot of crazy shit be happening in the courtroom. They should definitely be having multiple. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a whole it's a whole TV show like that, though. Yeah, I've I seen that yeah, I shit. I'm like, I was like, like, oh, damn, they got a whole TV show. Just niggas yeah. freaking out in the fucking courtroom. That's like, dumb man, shit. Someone killed somebody in the courtroom, got hold of somebody's gun and shot someone. Like, man. Damn, for real? Yeah. Nice, yeah. though. Never heard of um, well, that wraps up today's episode. Let us know what you guys think down below. Uh, was like and subscribe. Yeah, like always funny. Subscribe, definitely bro. wasn't. I definitely <laughs> wasn't. I saw, I saw that that video had happened, but I didn't like never stop to watch it, never stop to click it. But I knew that it existed. Yeah, and then been, once I saw that like, you were putting it on, I was like, okay, so here it comes. Here it comes. Yeah. Well, I um, to go. Like I said, like and subscribe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Make sure you yep like, comment, subscribe, uh, follow us on social media over here on the right, oh, wrong. The left <laughs> of you, um, and yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.